Hello, hello, hello. Amphredi here, your pop culture psychic. Back to you again with the true crime reading. This one is on something that's a little bit more obscure that I'm not sure if too many of you heard about, but if you were active on TikTok, I'm sure you have. This one is about, her name is Angela Tremonti. She was a 31-year-old woman who met a man online and was friends with him through Instagram. And they went on a date. She flew to Phoenix uh, to meet this guy that she didn't really know to go on a date. Um, they went to hike a trail at Camelback Mountain, and it was Echo Canyon Trail. Um, he it was actually an off-duty police officer, and her friends were worried about her going and warned her not to go, I think, allegedly. And she ended up going. She allegedly was walking up the hike with the guy um, and the off-duty police officer, and when she reached a certain point, they had no water, first of all, and it was like 100 and something degrees, which is suspicious. She had never gone hiking before, and he had, I believe, so very strange. They had no water. She went, she said, he claims that she said she wanted to go back down because she didn't think she could make it, and he just let her walk by herself with no water in the heat. That's his story. So obviously she was found deceased um, in a random spot uh, from, I think, dehydration and heat. So this entire thing is suspicious. Um, the article I read said that the off-duty police officer allegedly has a history of getting caught struggling to tell the truth. So we will see what really happened. Um, pretty much an Instagram date from hell gone wrong. Um, her friends do not believe the story. So I'm going to go ahead and do a ring on it because I'm really drawn to this. And I don't know why. So if I'm drawn to something, it's for a reason. So remember, these rings are all alleged for an entertainment purpose only. And everything in here is alleged. Let's get started. Okay. Judgment. Justice reversed. And five of cops reversed. So... Obviously, we're dealing with a uh, alleged off-duty police officer, so justice card reverse uh, indicates it would be indicative of him <clears throat> because justice would be, um, you know, law enforcement stuff like that. So, do I think that there is some form of cover-up? In my opinion, allegedly, yes. Justice being reversed usually means justice not delivered. Um, I pull that a lot for cover-ups, especially with judgment and justice reverse, which means I have a friend who helps me. Um, so, yes, that's the mentality. Think of judgment like the group mentality. So all the cops and then the justice card things not going well so or you know justice not delivered or you know hiding things yeah the five of cops is predicting the worst before it happens so i actually don't think that anyone knows the story but him i don't think he told them the story and i think that that's for a reason i think that they don't want to know because the less they know the easier it is to lie that is what i see allegedly in my opinion, that's what I see. Um, now, we're going to kind of figure out what happened. Page of Swords, Five of Swords reversed, and the Queen of Swords. So I see the Five of Swords, I mean the Page of Swords, as trying to fight for something. That also is an argument. So there had to be tension between the two of them, um, 100%. Uh, so usually, usually, Page of Swords is when you say something that's kind of forward or a little bit aggressive. Uh, sometimes it's someone that, like, provokes or piss someone off. So I do think that he said something that was kind of rude. Um, the five of swords is petty energy. <clears throat> so five of swords being petty energy means they got into a petty argument. Um, some sort of disagreement. The queen of swords is like an independent woman. And it's usually when someone says something that they, that someone doesn't like. So she definitely said something that he didn't like. She defended herself from what I'm seeing. Um, queen of swords has a very sharp tongue. So she but he's he was butt hurt. There's no way that he wasn't butt hurt. The Five of Swords reverse. This is giving me very like little dick energy. It's giving me chauvinistic pig. Like it's giving something like that. She definitely said something though. Um, has a habit of provoking as well. Um, I don't think that this girl is someone who's a, who's easily walked all over. Um, and even if she was that type of person, she wasn't in this instance. There's no way. Um, I also see her as a very intelligent person. So this entire scenario doesn't make any sense to me with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is intellect, it's smarts, it's communication. I actually do think she was a decent communicator, if not really, really good. So for me, um, it seems more so like they got into an argument and a disagreement. It's almost as if he wanted to... 
do something. So the star is public and it's like a tension and the two of cups is a bond between the two of them and the five of swords is abuse of power. When it, five of pentacles, excuse me, reverse is abuse of power. So for me, I almost see that as um, him wanting to either have sex in public or kiss her in public or say something or whatever and her not feeling it. Like there is definitely some sort of, I want to do this. I want to do that. That's the vibe that I'm getting. Um, some sort of like experience that he wanted that she turned down and he got butt hurt so the chariot is the car but that's also moving on huh. he was intimidated the knight of swords tells me he's a nice guy it's reversed so that means like you portray you show yourself as a really nice caring person but you're really not nice guy syndrome quote unquote and the chariot is upright too so I can tell you this, his whereabouts, I'm a little suspicious. I'm not convinced. Now, here's the thing. I'm not convinced that he didn't leave and come back. I'm also not convinced that his car was in the same spot. There's something off about his story that he just, there's something off about the timing where he was placed and the timing of her and him and where they were found and stuff. I don't buy that. There's the rejection. He didn't take rejection well. I see him a little bit aggressive, um, angry, not taking rejection well. And the Queen of Cups is upright too, which that would be her vulnerability. The Fool's reverse. Don't be naive. Seven of Cups reverse and Four of Pentacles. He brought something with her. They may not have had water, but he brought something with, with them. He brought something with them. I don't know if it was a, uh, I don't know if it was alcohol. I don't know if it was pills. I don't know what it was. It could have even just been something at food. I don't know what it was, but he brought something. There's something that he had that he tossed 100%. He had something. Yeah, see page of cups. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like a drink or alcohol or something. The sun's upright and the knight of pentacles He's also tried to do this before. I think that he tried to do something similar with another girl. He either did it, like hiked with her, or almost did, and then it fell apart. Because this looks to me like I've tried to do this before. I've always wanted to do this. Opportunistic. Ace of Swords. What is this? Is this six or the five? Five of Wands reverse and Empress reverse. Yeah, it's a habit of preying on people with uh, low self-esteem. But I mean... That's not super shocking. So the world is upright. Yep, the three of wands and the two of wands. Yeah, he's done this before. He's definitely done this before. Um, I also think that he has some sort of public sex fetish or something. There's a weird fetish involved here. Uh, a sexual fetish is involved. I don't know how, but uh, I don't know if it's like, it's because it's giving you like threesomes or like public play or something. There's something weird there. Anyways, I actually do think that at some point they did split up. But I think he was so butthurt that he didn't give a fuck. Like, I see a rejection. I see her being pissed. I see her being like, F you. I see him being like, well, F you too. I see him literally ditching her. And then whatever happens, happens. That's what it looks like. I guess the word is negligence. I'm going to pull from another deck. Let's pull from the Dark Mirror deck. Bride in a cage, colorless angel, forgetting oneself. Yeah, to me, this is someone who, so he tried to get her to do something or to be what he wanted it to be, and there was that was never going to happen. In fact, I think if you go, if they were able to look at their messages, I definitely think he said he wanted something and she said no to, because this is something she's already said no to. He tried to push her to do something before she even came there, something that he really wanted. Uh, it's some sort of fantasy or something like that, and she was like, no, I'm not doing that. And he was like, oh, okay, but he actually, it wasn't actually oh, okay. The forgetting oneself is an arrogance. It's almost like a narcissistic uh, thing. Blind to pain, sacrifice, revenge. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm seeing. He got pissed off because there was some form of rejection. It happens often to him. Sacrifice and revenge. He was like, all right, fine. Then F you then. I hope you choke. So to me, he just ditched her.
I'm gonna pull from this deck. This is the Fairy Oracle deck. I'm also gonna try my um, music divination that I've been playing with, where I just like use my um, playlist. Follow me. Come, this is your invitation into the fairy realm. So that's what he did, right? He kind of quote unquote lured her in there. Barnabas and the Prince, adventure, travel, meeting destiny. So that's the hike, inviting him to her hike. Secret doorway, working with intuition, second sight opening, dimensional doorways. Oh, I want to show you this really cool spot. Fairy lovers, new love, courtship, romance, falling in love, him trying to woo her. Shimmer, confidence, charisma, hmm, character charismatic getting what he wants child of the moon forgiveness transcending ego up oh. and once was innocent knowledge means change yeah so i think he was able to charm his way to that point and then once was innocent makes me think that she kind of figured it out yeah it's almost like he wanted to marry her it's weird sacred union commitment ceremony maturing deep relationship he wanted to move really quickly it's almost like he's like you're the one for me it's weird keeper of secrets Oh my God, use your discernment, confide in a trust event, keep silent about knowledge. He told her something that he thought he could trust her with and it freaked her the fuck out. He said something fucked up to her. He's done something fucked up or has some fucked up fantasy or there's something fucked up that he likes or that he's done, allegedly, that he told her that he thought she could handle, but she freaked the fuck out. That's exactly what happened. That's what I'm seeing. Green man's door, mother and daughter. Uh-oh, that's a nurturing and three graces. So this to me has to do with nurturing people. And that's a lot. That's many different girls too. Some sort of abuse of power that he, he has over people. It's a weird dynamic. Um, hmm. into the woods yeah it's weird he has this like really weird it's this really weird kind of i don't know there's something he's done before and she was just like red flag and getting the hell out of here you're disgusting ill you're a creep get away from me and then he's like all right fuck you she ran off that's what i'm seeing that's literally what i'm seeing allegedly for entertainment purpose only that is what i'm seeing and then he was like all right fuck you then he didn't care I'm going to use the playlist divination and see how that goes. Let's see. I don't know how this is going to go. Cool. The literal first song that starts playing is Player by Tinashe. It's about a boy who's a player who does whatever he can to get what he wants. Shocker. Okay, that's kind of creepy. The next song is Madonna's Devil Prey. <laughs> that's a really dark, kind of twisted song that's kind of all about doing what you want, getting what you want. I mean, it really, it, it's, it's all about like trying to get someone to do what you want. Oh, in a not a great way. Oh my God. Oh my God. Womanizer from Britney. <laughs> okay, I think we get the picture. I think you guys get the picture. I'm really liking this. This is really working. So I also, I don't know. I would say, how old was she? 31? Mm. Especially with Womanizer. I wonder if, I wonder if, I wonder if he's not used to women who are that old. Maybe he likes a younger girl. I'm not sure. Because typically womanizers usually go for younger, but either way, um, yeah, that's what I see. I hope this helped. All alleged for team verbs only. Uh, if you guys like that, make sure you tip. There's a link to my video down below. Follow me, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Amphrodite. And until next time, bye.